Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you are well A very shocking and hard to believe incident took place just recently an open islamophobe was seen as more as sorry for the current situation of the muslims than a muslim himself whom he was debating with and keep this in mind when we say that the person who sided with the muslims was an islamophobe then we truly mean it as that person has shown this hidden grudge against muslims in multiple instances let us now know who these two people are we are talking about These two personalities are the famous journalist Piers Morgan and famous influencer Andrew Tate. Yesterday, these two personalities met for an interview and debate where they discussed the crisis situation that the UK has been witnessing for the past few weeks. In yesterday's video, the infamous question of Piers Morgan, "Do you condemn Hamas?" changed to "Do you condemn yourself?" Throughout the interview, Piers Morgan tried to get Andrew Tate to realize that he had a hand in making these riots starting in the first place, as he was the one claiming that the perpetrator who stabbed the three girls to death was an illegal immigrant, and because of which a wave of anti-immigrant sentiment rose throughout the UK. When the invaders slaughter your daughters, you do absolutely fucking nothing. Now, now that that video has been viewed 15.1 million times. X limited uh, the post's visibility because of its rules on hateful conduct. But the bottom line, Andrew, is that almost everything you said in that video was completely untrue, and yet it was uh, apparently seized upon uh, online, spread wide and far, and made people believe what you were saying. So my question for you, off the top here, is why did you race to spread such woeful disinformation, given the massive following you have? and encourage people to take action against a, a caricature and description of who had perpetrated this which was simply untrue. Piers Morgan also accused Andrew Tate of siding with anti-Muslim far-right Tommy Robinson and thus betraying his own Muslim brothers in faith. Muslims as you know have been ranting about you for the last few days as utterly betraying them because you've decided to associate yourself with Tommy Robinson who is a far right thug who has been spewing utter horrible islamophobic anti-muslim rhetoric all week and yet you have not distanced yourself from him so the muslim community in the UK now view you as part of the enemy too Andrew Tate did not accept his mistake He only accepted the part where he was wrong about the criminal being an illegal immigrant and stated that while that 17 year old was not an illegal immigrant he believes that he was a migrant. Well, I never said he was a Muslim. I never said he was a Syrian. I never said he was on the MI6 watch list. The only thing I could have got incorrect is that he was an undocumented migrant. Which again is untrue because the identity of the criminal was made clear that he was a British citizen born in the city of Wales. Regarding Tommy Robinson too, Andrew Tate did not give much of a clarification and only said that he denounces all the hate that Tommy Robinson has against the Muslims and he can even debate Tommy on this point when the time comes but shockingly Andrew did not show as much as reaction to Tommy as he was required by him as a believer Andrew did but confronted Piers Morgan about his full support that he had shown and is still showing to Israel for the brutal ongoing onslaught upon the Palestinians to which Piers Morgan could not have any solid response I think Tommy Let is wrong respond. about Israel just like you were because you were supporting the genocide in Gaza. When one looks at the whole nearly 1 hour video, one will get an idea that it seems that Piers Morgan was the one who was seemingly much more concerned about the targeting of Muslims based upon false rumors, while Andrew, being a believer, was neither accepting his mistake nor issuing even a casual apology to the Muslims for being one of the reasons for spreading the false rumors. But how could a person like Piers Morgan defend Islam and corner Andrew for causing harm to the Muslims? And you, as the great espouser of truth, who hates lying, should be the first to say that anyone that spread any of those false rumors about him being a Muslim, about him being an illegal immigrant, about him being on the MI6 terror watch list, you should condemn unreservedly anyone who spread any of those false rumors because they're the things that inspired these riots the reason is that when we believers start quarreling among ourselves and are unable to get our thoughts together on clear issues people like piers morgan will definitely try to take this as an opportunity to widen the beef and this is the reason why we believers are advised to stick together as a single human body
This does not at all seem right and is also a means of mockery for those who hate Islam when a believer starts siding with and appreciating an Islamophobe like Tommy Robinson who has openly shown his anti-Muslim views. When such incidents take place, it gives space for hypocrites and haters of Islam to show the world that the Muslims themselves are not united in simple and clear points. There's one point however that Andrew made that made Piers Morgan a bit uncomfortable and that is when he said that Islam is a religion of peace and it is the West that has tried to look at Muslims as monsters and destroyers of peace and thus Piers Morgan himself was to a passive reason for the ongoing crisis in the UK. If you do your, if you read your history and you understand how the political class have lied to us to get us into all of these forever wars, they have tried very hard to make you believe that Muslims are your enemy and there's been a large propaganda campaign by the Western media machine to make sure you feel that way. I assure you that 99.9% .9 of Muslims think just like you, feel just like you and they're good people and I don't want anyone to instantly assume that Muslims have committed a violent crime because a violent crime has happened. That's, that's you agree a terrible what I thing that say? happens and I believe a lot of that happens. We hope that this video reaches brother Andrew Tate and he realizes that by standing with the Islam hater Tommy Robinson, he's actually standing against his fellow Muslim brothers and also against Islam. For us too, there's a lesson in this incident. When we Muslims won't stay united, those people who want to harm the reputation of Islam will use that opportunity for their personal gains and also to depict to the world that this is the state of Islam. Remember, a hater of Islam will not read the Quran, nor will he read the Hadiths. He will read a Muslim and watch his behavior. And thus, it is up to us that we represent Islam in the best manner possible. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from treacherous people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give guidance to brother Andrew Tate. Ameen. That's it for today brothers and sisters. I hope you liked the video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video with your family and friends. Until next time. Assalamu alaikum.